Yo, welcome back. Zykor here. And today in No Man's Sky, I'm going to... I'd like to get some of those, um... The, um, clear... What are they? Glass underwater, um... Uh, hallways for under here to put up and to add. Because that would be really cool to add some of those. Uh, and add, you know, get some nice extensions and different rooms and... All kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> and um, to make more of these cuboid rooms, uh, wrong area, um, I'm going to need, I mean, they take, I guess I could have just used the Z menu. <laughs> they take silver, these glass cuboid rooms. So I'm going to go put up a bunch of, a few of those, uh, let's see, the harvesters. Um, let's see here. What is it? Yeah, aut autonomous mining units. I'm going to put up a few of those on some silver nodes. Um, there is a planet with silver nodes in this area. I mean, in this system. So I thought I'd head over there. Um, I guess I should probably look at which one it is. I think it was a moon. Let's see. Wrong area. Come on. Get on there. There we go. Uh, is it this? Oh, yes. It's just the moon of this planet. <laughs> it's actually pretty convenient. So it has copper, silver, rusted metal, and silver. I'll just go there, set up some autonomous mining units with silver. Um, let's see then. I should probably pin the recipe and make it easier, but... All I need is metal plating, though. I actually have everything. I went and got some advanced ion batteries from my uh, freighter because I have I had like 13 of them in there. Head out here. And I changed my um, control setting a little bit to the, what is it, non-tethered? I don't know, I'm seeing how it is. I'm actually finding it harder to control. <laughs> so maybe I'll change it back. Uh, where is this planet now? Where is the moon? Let me guess, I'm on the opposite side of the planet. I bet you I am. Okay, well, um... Let's just head over there. Oh, that's... Is that the anomaly? Oh, no, I'm out of fuel. <laughs> Pulse engine. Now, pirate was supposed to be better. Yeah, this is the anomaly. I guess since I'm here at the anomaly, I'll go see how much um, salvage data these cost to get the the corridors the hallways glass hallways they're actually quite cheap in comparison to the other hallways that you build on build on a regular base on land so it's actually kind of surprising I mean they only take a little bit of ferrite dust I mean, yeah, they do take crystal sulfide, two crystal sulfide each, so, I mean, I guess it could be a little expensive in a sense, because crystal sulfide isn't necessarily the easiest to get, but still, I mean, you know, it's still pretty cheap. 25 ferrite, two crystal sulfide, and, like, just, like, one or two glass, so it is pretty cheap. Just the crystal sulfide is the harder portion. So I'll just get over here. Let's see. Now the I got the biodome. I really want to put one of them up, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, let's see here. Cuboid rooms. Uh, it's not the cuboid rooms I'm after. Actually, I should get interior stairs, though. That would actually be useful. I have the flooring. And I don't know what these exactly are for room frame large industrial structures huh and I probably don't need an inner door I'd prefer it to just be nice and open but then you know who knows maybe I could do some interesting stuff with that too uh, okay where is that oh that orbital. yeah yeah that okay okay so this takes three and I'd like all of these but I bet this costs three this costs three three 
and three, yeah. So I'd need like um, 15, <laughs> yeah. Kind of expensive, but I can at least get a couple of them. I can get two of them. So I'll get this one. There we go. And this one is to go up, I assume. It's kind of what it looks like. So instead, I'd probably get the L-shaped one and go for these two. Because I don't need this as much. Yeah. There we go. Now I'll have to go farm up a bunch more salvage data. Because I think I'm I'm out, aren't I? Oh, yeah. yeah, this is where my salvage data was. <laughs> I'm completely out. Okay, so let's head over to that moon. Maybe I should just set myself a waypoint or something. Just get out here. And of course, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe as well, because that really helps us out. And of course, we really appreciate it. Okay. Okay, let's set a waypoint or something. Um, I can't. Maybe I can't. Yeah, I think you can only set waypoints to systems or something in you. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, there. You can only set it to different systems. So, okay, so I just need to find Ebretta Prime and yes. Yikinati? Yeah, Yikinati. <laughs> so where's Yikinati? Um, what is that one? That's Yikinati. So the moon is back here, probably. So just... Oh, come on. No, I wasn't that close. through. Where is that moon? Is it over here? It's got to be here somewhere. Of course, you know, it's a lot easier for me to see if I'm inside the ship because inside the cockpit because you can see your little um, your radar. It's still further around. They need to give you some way to e more easily get to specific planets. Now, where is it? it? It should be right in front of me. There we go. Okay, yeah. Now, I should be able to get some silver. Um, let's just go down here, I guess. I'll leave my beacon where my miner is, though, so then I can uh, come back to it. Oh, cool. Those are some of those, those balls that have, like, random things in them. Like artifact balls. What do they call it? Curious deposits. That's what they are. I wonder what the sentinels are like on here. Might as well get some carbon crystals. Or condensed carbon. Oh, those are. No, that's a whispering egg. Okay, so is there any silver? There we go, right over there. Ha! I'm right by one. Oh, that's that's nice. It has it's got low, <laughs> low gravity. Okay, now I could just you know harvest all of this, 
but I think what I want to do is I just want to put those uh, yeah these these on there I need uh, I don't have my uranium because it's on my starship uh, I gotta go get it and I need a few uh, metal plating you can just stay up in the air <laughs> that's funny okay now uh, take my uranium I only got 240 oh I need to go get some huh okay I can, I can only make two of these things. Nuts! Is there a planet? There should be a planet in this system that has uranium. Yeah, there. I should go to Yukonati to get some. <laughs> I'll have to do that. Okay, where's that? That spot's right up there. That's cool. I wonder, will it damage you if you just let yourself fall from that height? Never actually tried it. Wrong thing. Okay. Oh, I need the metal plating. Of course. Just make myself... Uh, four metal plating? Did it take two for them? I should have just pinned the recipe. I think it takes two. There we go. Yep, takes two. Okay. That one down. And yeah, I know you need to power these. But I got plenty of carbon to last. I got my carbon farm, so... There we go. I'll just let those gather silver. Because why not? Now, I could go find another deposit. Is there another one? And just get a whole bunch of silver. That's copper. That's silver. That's rusted metal. But I could just come back and put like three or four more of these things on here after I get some uranium. That is rusted metal. This is more rusted metal. Rusted metal. Rusted metal. <laughs> Lots of rusted metal. Okay, well, I guess I'll head over to the silver deposit here. And I'll get maybe get some. Because I could use some, and then I can continue building on my base. Of course, I um, probably could use some of the rusted metal as well. There we go. Okay, I'll just get to harvesting this up here and eh, be back when I'm done. Okay, I'm done, finally. Actually, let's see what I got from that. Oops, that does hurt you when you do that. Mm-hmm, something to remember. I got 1,100 silver or so. I had a little bit beforehand, but wow. Ooh, I took a lot of damage, actually. So that basically makes you fall directly down. Huh. Interesting. Actually, let's see how much my autonomous miners have done. see how much they have. They have 39 silver. Guess I'll just take it. And this one. Now let's go get some uranium so we can put up some more. So I'll just head over to... Which one was that? right. I was going to put my beacon down. I forgot about that. That was an awful long save uh, save uh, thing. <laughs> Saving. Savings. 
Okay, I'll uh, just put my beacon here. And portable. So that I can actually remember where they are. There we go. Now, I, I saw somebody say you could color them. Can you? Like, I'm not sure how. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not that experienced at the save beacon, so... I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. Otherwise, leave a comment. Let me know. Okay. Got my beacon there. Get up here. Don't want to go in circles. Is that the planet? Not the space station. I don't want the space station. Let's check where things are here in the system currently. Yikinati. I wish they'd show you where the space station is in the little system map. That would actually be useful because then you can kind of get a... Um, idea of which way you're looking. Because if the space station's over in that direction, then is that Yakinati or... Or where is Yakinati? This here, that's the moon. This here is... Uh, Ianetto. So... I guess the only thing I can do is go over there. That one's blue. Oh, that could be it. I don't want it to take me to the space station, but I guess... There we go. Eh. I gotta turn that setting off. I think it's kind of more irritating than what it's worth. Gonna actually show me the planet? Oh well. Can I actually see what it is? Oh, okay, this is it. You can Audi. 44 seconds. Okay, let's see what we can find for uranium. I should actually just get a like a uranium refine. Uh, uh, eh. Autonomous man miner as well. <laughs> oh, this is a water planet too. Huh. That's interesting. Well, let's head over to this little island here. Uh, I bet there's some way over there on that other island. Radioactive supercell approaching already? <laughs> uh, okay, so where is some uranium? I bet there's none in this area. Wow, that's a square rock. That, that is not normal. <laughs> I, I saw a square rock uh, pretty much almost like that, at, like close to the beginning of the series. That looks square too. Like what? Radiation protection falling. Yes, yes. Radioactive storm, I know. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, now I can't see anything. I almost regret coming here. Let's see. There's a sodium deposit. A copper deposit. Some birds in a radioactive storm. And there is a sodium deposit. So sodium deposits. Where's the uranium? Well, you know, I'll get this. I could use some salvage data. Oh, come on. It's like what? <laughs> it wasn't letting me at it. It letting me at it. Get 
back here. Is there any more? Those look like trees and stuff, so maybe there's a little bit of land over there. Looks like there might be a good amount of land over in there, so let's fly over there. Is there anything interesting up here? Why does that look like a rain in the pot? <laughs> Okay, this is, yeah, this is a good amount of land. Let's just land here and see. Oh, come on. That was a clear area. Interesting, weird looking animals. <laughs> Might as well scan them. So get these. That. Okay, let's see if there's any... Come on, there's gotta be some... Uranium deposits. Sodium, it's all, is it all sodium? It's like, what? Copper. Sodium. This isn't a uranium planet, it's a sodium planet. Uh, okay, well, I, I guess I'm gonna find some uranium on here. Let's see what... Some of these may have some. And I guess I'll come back and... I'd like to get back and actually build some more stuff on my base. Of course, that's the wrong tool. Just ferrite dust and uranium, though. It's the uranium... It's just the secondary that's kind of lame. <laughs> uh, I'll find some more stuff. Okay, I finally found a bunch of uranium. <laughs> Got 1,100 of it, so that's good. So, I'm just going to make a couple more of these. Put a couple more down. And gather what these currently have. Then I'll head back to my base, and I'd like to make probably a couple more rooms. That's weird. Okay, um, let's put down... Let's see how much these have just after that amount of time. Copper? Why is it copper? This was supposed to be a... This is a silver deposit. Why is it copper? What? Copper? This is silver! It says silver! What? Okay, that's just weird. It's giving me stinking copper. Okay, well, I'm not gonna put any more down here because this is weird. It says silver. Let's, let's just see here. Mine a, co a corner of it. Yeah, that's silver. What? How can an autonomous mining unit get silver from cop- I mean, get copper from silver? What? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> leave some comments. Let me know if this has ever happened to you. This is weird. Okay, so I'm- yeah, I got a copper- yeah, yay. I have some weird silver copper mess. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to base and put in some of those rooms. <laughs> Or not rooms, corridors. Okay, I'm finally back here. Yeah, where's my... Oh, there's a base out there. Okay, let's see here. Now, I'd like to add some rooms. Um, and I wanted to add a corridor. One of the corridors, at least. <laughs> Um, let's see. And I, I want to add storage as well, because... Uh, because the, adding the storage in my base would be pretty useful. 
Is it here? Here. There we go. Okay, so right out here. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Um, so like right there. So I got like three of these right here. And you can just add one by the holo door. What? That's, oh, no, you can't. It's red. Never mind. So, um, maybe I'll go out this way with some cuboid rooms. Let's just see. Oh, they're, they're in a different area. They're here. What is that? What? Huh. Okay, so I could add one there. Or one here. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'll go like that. I'll have to refine some more glass, though. Well, yeah, let's just put this here. And there we go. Got a little bit of an L going. And I'll put down my refiner. Maybe, yeah, I can make, okay, so I'll have a corridor coming down here. And then this way I can go to access my storage containers. So that's what I should do. Yeah. Make this go like a, a long way. Okay. Um, put down. Wrong thing. Portable. Or no, you know what? I have my exosuit one. I can just use. Take that. Put silica powder in here. Where's the silicate powder? There we go. And just get some glass. Only five glass, though. Or no, that's all it makes. That's right. Okay, so I'll let that process. Um... And how much of these is it going to take? Because I want to get a biodome going. Takes magnetized ferrite and more glass. You know what? I could just... Set down my... My refiner. That's making it hard to get out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Can I take half of this? Oh, take that. They should give you, a, they should kind of give you a way to do half of it. But I guess it's not that big of a deal. Oh, I need to begin. There we go. Get some more going, get some going in here. Where's my silica powder? There we go. I'm not going to refine it all. Of course, I need fuel. There we go. Let that go. Okay, so now... I don't, don't need that. Let's see. Adding one more cuboid room. Going this direction. And now I think I have three uh, storage boxes. So I'm. I'll go one more room this way. And I'll get this out of my. Here. There we go. And start it up again. Okay. I'm not trying to punch my walls. Eh. Keep pressing wrong buttons. Now, um, I'll put... I could probably get a storage box. Because I want to get one looking straight at me like that. And, uh, yeah, that's right. It needs to be powered. Oh, well. <laughs> I wonder how I can get power down here. Hmm. I should have, like, water power. So I can... That's... I'll add more going this direction and put and line up those there. 
But I want to add one... Um, let's see. Get this. Make some more. Don't want to use all my silicate powder. And I'll get... Put that maybe there. Yeah. It'll be interesting. <laughs> I need to, I probably need to plan out this base a little bit more. And then I want to add a maybe a biodome in here. Cause I've got kind of an L base going here, but it's kind of interesting, kind of cool. And then I can maybe go straight this way, have a couple of biodomes along here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. There we go. And that needs power too, eh? So, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get power. I wonder if you can lay... This is cool, though. I wonder if you can put up, um, solar panels underwater. Hmm. That's an interesting prospect. <laughs> okay. Um, that's probably all the glass I should make for the moment. I'm running low on... I mean, I guess I'm not running that low on silicate powder. Make a little bit more. One more on this. Okay. So... Let's see. I got a bunch of silver, though, so that's good. So every time you're trying to build something, it just... Put, it makes it like you're in water or something. Okay, this is cool. Cutting through the water. I mean, the rock. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to need a lot of glass for this build. <laughs> okay. So now I'll have to figure out how to power this. So maybe I'll have to try to do that next time. We'll see. But I guess that's it for this episode. Uh, making this all glass is going to be really cool. I think. And I'll line up, the, uh, line up my storage boxes here just all in a line because that, that'd be actually rather useful. You have all your storage boxes in one area. So that'll be cool. So, yeah. And I got this. I'll have to go get the others in another episode. I did get some more salvage data. I got nine of them, so I probably could just go buy those. But otherwise, yeah. This is cool. If you like this episode, hit that like button. I really appreciate it, and it really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already subscribe, hit that bell icon, leave a comment, and of course share it. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.